Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Fapism. That is my name and not a sexual induendo, I promise. Welcome back to another rendition of Minecraft. So, I took a little bit of time to make a little renovation, which is these stairs, which go all the way up back to the floor, or the ground, since we're below ground. I figured that would be necessary and quick and convenient since, you know, strip mining isn't exactly the most exciting thing but we can easily run back to home if we need to hopefully by the time we peek oh hopefully by the time we poke our heads back up there um carrots will be grown then we can go ahead and start building our pig farm so we have very little things to do. A small list of things to... Oh, there I am. Small list of things to accomplish. We need to make a pig farm, get materials, and, um... Yeah. That's, that's all I've really got so far. I mean, we're surviving fine as of right now because of the pig slaughter in the South Bronx, but, I mean, when, it, when you think about it, and when it comes down to it, is pig slaughter the only way to survive? Can't we all just live off of the world and plants and bread? Must we always resort to violence and enslaving other species in order to keep ourselves alive? I mean, we, we are known for our witty intelligence and commentary. We can, we can think of other ways. And my response to that is, yeah, sure, but this is faster and convenient. Plus, where would we be without pig slaughter? I don't know about you, but I love my bacon. And you know what? It's a damn shame that Minecraft hasn't imported bacon yet. You know how awesome that would be? And then you can make a, um, a deep fryer. And then you could deep fry the bacon. And you could make really unhealthy food. And then you could sell it to the zombies. <gasps> iron! Oh my goodness, iron. Ladies and gentlemen, we have found what we came down here for. Slightly. This is probably going to be the only one. Oh, th <laughs> thank you for proving me wrong. But only two? Oh, there we go. More, more, more. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see. We use the forge in order to break that down, right? I believe? Yes. Actually, I can make one. Nah. 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 For now. We can make one down here and get an iron pickaxe going. Collect this redstone. And then we can be on our way to making our roller coaster. We should make a roller coaster. And that's another shame that Minecraft doesn't allow you to have, like, intricate flips on a roller coaster. You know how awesome that would be? I've seen some of the, uh, roll, uh, yeah, some of the built roller coasters go really fast. They can achieve a flip. I'm more than certain that they can. They need to get on that. Or make, like, a roller coaster tycoon mod. You just watch innocent little piglets just fly off into the distance. Or you could have it set up so that there's a pit of lava. Yeah? I mean, am I right? No, probably not. That'd be so cool, though. Pigs can fly directly into lava. It's true, Mom. I saw it. Cha. Alright, I'm actually circling back right now so that we can melt down this, um, actually, I should move that crafting table down here. We could make the mine a home, too. Well, mine as well. I mean, resources, right? Did I mention that last episode this game should have been called Diamond Searcher or The Search for Diamond? The last diamond. Something with diamonds. That spider is making me nervous. So there's some sort of cavern or spawn point or something right above us. Always good. 
Always good to be paranoid. Remember, paranoia makes you safe. Kind of. It's not really true. Don't listen to me. My advice isn't great. But if I were to give you advice, I would say keep your ears open. You never know what might become useful. So, now, we have our mind, we're getting iron. About time we're getting iron. See, my paranoia is wanting me to block that off. About time we're getting iron. Really. I don't even know. We can finally start making gold? Can't harvest that. Gold really isn't too important. Or do we need it for a roller coaster? We might need it for a roller coaster. Which should be another reason to make that iron pickaxe to harvest it. Hmm. That's okay. We're doing now. We're doing fine for now. We're doing now for fine. And we'll go a couple more. More iron, excellent. I right, will harvest this iron and then we'll turn back and set up points over by the stairs. Since no monster seems to be coming down to kill me yet, hopefully we don't have to encounter or worry about any more baby zombies, little ankle biters. By the way, never see that movie. Sorry, ankle biters. You can piece together what that movie is about. Ugh. It's so funny, though. Midget vampires. Mm-mm-mm. All right, so. Let's see. Our list to do. Things to do. Getting resources. Check. Um, make the pig farm, okay, make the armor, right, um, what else? Make a pig farm, make a farm, we have the farm, we just need to make it successful compared to the other plants. And when I say the other plants, I mean the villagers, because right now their farm is completely destroying mine. Yeah, let's open this area here. That way we can have a nice little welcome back to the mines. Please, what do you need? And I'll be like, oh, well, you know, I just need a couple of things, the iron and, and you know, what have you. And I'll be like, oh, no problem. We have it all right here waiting for you, Fapism. I'll be like, thank you. I appreciate that. Always good to... Treat your customers right and with respect. And with that there, ah, whatever, that one can stay up there. I can make a new one easily. So that, oh, come back. So this one's made. Put that there. Gonna craft forge. Should I craft two? Doesn't matter. Might as well. Might as well craft two. We'll probably be busy down here smelting everything we can. So, there. Stop it. And there. Put you there. I'm going to put half of you there. Half of you there. The other half there. You guys can become torches. Because we'll need them. Maybe not that many, but now we have torches. And... Should probably build a couple of chests. Probably build a couple of chests. If I had been so lucky as to have a steady brother, I should probably do tongue twisters and warm up before I start doing this. Um, who could talk to me as we're talking now to one another? Who could give me good advice when he discovered I was earring, which is just a very favor which I knew I'm confering. You guys know that one? real good warm-up tongue twisters they're great all right but now we have a humble little establishment going on and actually I'm feeling a little claustrophobic I'm gonna open this up a little bit more just for me 
Literally, I was feeling a little claustrophobic. Just slightly. Just a little bit. And we're going to take care of that. We have resources. We have resources going. The Enderman. Oh, no. The Enderman isn't going to even have a chance now. Let me think. 17. Let's see. It's 4 for the shoes. It's 5 for the helmet. 8 for the chest. We're going to need more. Yeah, we're going to need more. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. It is these two. So four. Four plus eight is twelve. Twelve plus seven is nineteen. Nineteen. So we need twenty-four in total. Actually, we might have enough to have a full set of armor. But the real question is, do we want armor now, or do we want pickaxes? So there's 13. So we have 25. It's a tough call. Honestly, I'm leaning more towards uh, pickaxes. Because if we run into diamond down here, we're going to need it. We can at least build a couple of pickaxes. Build a couple of pickaxes. One, two, three. One, two, three. And when I say a couple, I mean three. However, we can use that eight right there in order to... I mean, 16 in order to build some armor. So let's see. Oh. There we are. Oh yeah. Now we're feeling safe. Yes, yes, yes. It's all coming to flourishing. Soon we will destroy that Ender Dragon. If that is our goal. If our goal is to destroy that Ender Dragon, by God, we're going to make it happen. Although he's really hard. But now we have this. Ooh. Let me think. Oh, I'd have to kill. I'm thinking the easiest way to mine is to make TNT. But what you need a TNT... Gunpowder and sand. Where do you get gunpowder? You guessed it. The creepers. So now we gotta kill creepers. There's another thing to add to our list. But you know what? We have a good start down here. We have pickaxes. We have iron. We have some armor. Let's go upstairs. Go back to our house. Check on our farms and pigs. Farmville. We'll see how we're doing. Oh, damn it. Yes, I see you. There we go. Might as well cover up this hole. It's not serving anyone any purpose. Goodbye. Torch can stay there. Alright. And I don't even need to move my mouse. Just three fingers to scale these stairs. I did def uh, beat this game one time. It wasn't honestly. <laughs> it wasn't honest. It wasn't a fair, you know, game, quote-unquote. Um, oh, I gotta remember. I'm not alone anymore. And it's nighttime, so we better... Oh, it's a creeper. See you later. Let's see. Where is my home? There it is. Look how nice that is. All lit up in the distance. Oh, I thought there was castles in the sky over there. Oh, skeleton. Nope. Oh, give me your bone meal. Excellent. We got some bones out of that, actually. We can give that to the carrots if they need it. Have a carrot farm going. Can grow it on the other side. See, I'm not sure if those are ready or not. So let's go to sleep and find out. Eh. Sleep. Ah, so nice to be home. At least to have a home. Not worry about all the crap that's happening outside. Oh, I am... My arm. You know, if you think about it, Steve is actually a really strong guy. I mean, he um, carries all this stuff. Rocks, diamonds, armor. So, oh, no. Enderman and spiders. Um... 
he carries all this stuff. Carrots. Yes, yes, yes. And it doesn't even slow him down. He can still jump and do everything. He is amazingly in shape. Have you ever thought about that? And we're getting carrots. Sorry, I'm excited. We're actually making something. We're making it happen. More carrots, the better. There we go. And then we have all these guys over here. They're growing nicely too. I guess the Enderman went away. Good, very good. Oh yes, everything's working out quite nicely actually. Real question is, what to do now? We can get a build going with our pig farm. Probably be the best thing to do as of right now. Get the pig farm going so that we have a live stock and I might need more. Oh, no, I have plenty of wood. Let's see. Which means we need to take one out of there so that nothing can jump in that we don't want. Pigs can't escape. It'll be fine. So let me think, how do I... How'd this go again? Was it just... Yep, there it is. There it is. Click it a clack. Click it a clack. And I'll take these. Thank you. I also need to make one with a door, but I'll do that later. So let's see. Let's have our pig fence connect to the house. Our pig fence. Pig fence. We'll make it go all here. Come on. Oh, not that far. Probably should have marked myself off better. We can go all here. We'll leave that open for now. There. There. And axe. Excuse me, Ho. There we are. And as always, I made too much of what I need. Just in a bit, I ran on my shovel. That's the missing tool. There. It's basically almost done. So we should probably make three doors. Which, of course, is easy to make. It's easy. It's very easy. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. Since that one missed. There we are. There's that. Oh, I need a shovel. Uh, wood's fine for now. Wood's fine for now. There we are. And we'll get this going. It'll be great. We're basically now becoming a self-sustaining economy. We can build our own nation soon. Invite the village people to come live with us. Their pig caravan can begin to play music for us. For our live community events. And bam. There we go. And just like that, our pig farm is established. Just need to get rid of this here. So that nothing can jump in it or out of it. And everything will be swell. See, once we got out of the Bronx, everything was fine. I mean, granted, we had a little bit of trouble getting started. Oh. Oh well. We had a little bit of trouble getting started, but we're doing real good right now. I'm quite surprised. And threats have been very minor couple of zombies and spiders here and there, but nah, they're easy. They're just common enemy types. That there. Ho, actually. There we go. That's much better. And we have some seeds we can get rid of. We are becoming such a self-sustaining economy. 
soon it might actually be time to go and explore once we have a full set of armor, some iron swords, and our pig farm. Which I guess I should kill more skeletons in order to get their bone meal. Well, their bones for the bone meal. You know what I mean. Oh, piggies. Soon you'll be lining up for the slaughter. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, in creative mode, when I was diddling around with that, blowing everything up basically with unlimited amount of dynamite, um, let me think. I did something. Oh yeah, I used infinite amount of, um, of the, um, what you call it? Oh, the Enderman Eye, the Ender Eye, in order to find that location. And then I activated the portal because I had infinite amount in order to do so. And then I just killed him. I was flying around with the Ender Dragon trying to kill him. And it took a while. So if that is our goal, I don't think diamond armor is going to be enough. We're going to need bedrock armor. We're back in the mine. Oh, swell. How swell. Let's see. Where, where are we gonna go? Um. Oh. I can fill... I don't have anything to fill those holes with. Okay. Put my meat away. Uh, let's see. Hmm. There. More red ore. Uh, you know what? We basically have a good basis for this right now. Um, I don't want to bore you guys with endless mining. So, what I'm going to do is a little bit more behind the scenes work. Going to get some iron and whatnot. And uh, we'll come back to uh, see how annoying it is to get the pigs in their pen. So, with that said, ladies and gentlemen... Thank you so much for watching, and remember, keep practicing.